back to this video. Found a really good angle now. And I'm doing this in daylight now. If you can see, uh, this is really, really nice. <laughs> so, open the hobby link stuff. And we got, you guys don't know what this is. This is plastic bubble. It's like a plastic bubble wrapped in. Except in tubes. Yeah. These are perfect for packaging. If you don't have bubble wrap. Bubble wrap is fun, but if you have this, it's just as fun too. Yeah. <laughs> We got more bubble wrap. So toss that over there. And we have this nicely packaged. Um I didn't really order this until um this is uh yeah. I didn't order this I've had this this it was almost cancelled. I didn't order it. If I didn't or if I didn't order this, my uh cancel my uh pre orders and my right other orders that I had would not go through, so I have to get this out of the way. So first we have um, Mr. Hobby's flat top coat, uh, water soluble. Uh, this is how you would make your um, make your kits up, like pull the paint or like make it not as glossy, especially if you don't uh, spray paint your kits. It puts like a really nice coat on it so it looks like it um so it doesn't really so it looks like it's been painted or and it also takes off the like little swirls that you see in the plastic so it makes it look even nicer so I'll be showing a video of that too maybe uh, I don't know and we also have Mr. Hobby's Mark Setter my name is Mark too. Ha ha ha. Okay. So we have the uh, Mark Cider used for water decals. I'll be using. Oh, there's English instructions here. That's surprising. Okay. Anyways, um, I mean, I'll be doing a video how I how will I, how I will apply the uh, water slide decals to my um master grade sort of impulse. So expect a video on that. So we have those two for one package, but I also got another package, a bigger one. So yeah, I'm gonna be opening this one now too. So I'll just adjust this so you don't see uh, me cutting and you see my address. I hope you didn't see my address and that last video, otherwise I'm going to have to find some way to cut it, or, or edit, I don't know, that could be um, extremely challenging, I don't know, could be, could be brutal, hmm. oh, yes, that, really, that did nicely, Ah, uh, they're all plastic. Oh, no, you saw a little thing. Uh, yeah, if you saw, I don't have a tripod. I should be getting one, or if you guys can tell me what kind of tripod do you guys use, or stands, uh, that would be really appreciated. Uh, let me uh, grab a bit of the plastic. start cutting that out so it's easier. Actually I'm gonna just take this and dump it upside down away from your eyes so I can have a fun time explaining. This 
So the first kit, kit I should show you, well you already saw, thank god, is this. It's a Kogias um, kit, uh, it's the Lancelot royal coating version. This is um this is the more expensive of the Lancelot kits. The most expensive. It retails at 3800 yen. But however, thanks to the Hobby Link Japan sale, which is now over, uh it is it was um 1140 yen. And there were a couple kits at the end of the sale that weren't purchased. So, I was really surprised that not many people bought this kit. Also, they had the Vincent, um, what was it? Uh, the Commander version that, uh, Guilford uses. It retailed for about 800 yen, and it basically $8 in American. Um, no one really bought that kit. Now, I was surprised, it was a really good deal. So, let's take a look at the box. Some poses, uh, stuff detailing about the uh, accessories, slash Harkin, Mazer Vibration Sword, Varus Rifle, Cockpit, Land Spinners, or Box Art, oh, sorry. Uh, package slightly damaged, but it's okay. Mm, it's not that bad. Uh, more stuff about the Lancelot. And it's pilot Suzaku Kurugi. Um, yeah, the figure that you could paint, the 135th scale version of him. It's um, yeah, these figures that come with like Master Grades and other kits like this, they're not extremely detailed. It, it's kind of what annoys me. Like, oh, th thank you for adding it, but you could have done better. Could have like made it stand out a bit more. So, anyways, um, I know that Prime 92 and, uh, Versus Z are, basically have, are, are going to be getting their, uh, high grade, gun, uh, Exia Repair 2, and O Gundam. Also, Robert 184 has, already has his, um, Kits, and these three people do amazing reviews, and they already do interesting stuff with their videos. Uh, take for example, uh, Versus Z, uh, or his last video, uh, which was a review of the Double O Riser Trans Am mode. Extremely interesting. So I can't really compete with these uh, two people. I, or actually, I want to differentiate myself from these three. So I decided to add a little ambiance at this moment. So, second? One second.
this does it for part one of my unboxing. Uh, uh, stay tuned for part two. We'll take a look at what's inside these kits.